Okay, in the video that I was comparing the Bother Hyperion 21mm with the uh, Alter Astro Premium Light Wave um, 80mm eyepiece, I mentioned that uh, Sigma Orionis has six members. Okay, I was observing with the refractor by then, the refractor couldn't reach easy focus sharp snap focus now i'm using this uh, um, mid lx 200 uh, 8 inch emc it has reached the uh, thermal equilibrium and uh, now i can see that the sigma is actually has eight members visually i can see i wish i could show it but it's not a uh, possible to photograph this with, with just a handheld camera but anyway eight components i can see everything that i thought one is actually two <laughs> so two of the stars that i thought one they are themselves also uh, composed of two components the main one is a sigma one itself it has three components actually uh, two components of, of of course could be seen with the refractor the other one could not be seen very faint i've seen that other one with the max vision 40 millimeter uh, eyepiece but now i can see it it's just a normal eyepiece this is a, a celestron omni 40 millimeter plus so uh, i can easily see it it shows that you have to let your Schmidt Cassegrain telescope to reach the thermal equilibrium before you can actually observe well with that. Okay, um, how many stars exist in the Sigma Orionis? Sigma Orionis is the star that uh, is the asterism of several stars. That when you want to reach the star Al Nitak uh, uh, and find the Horsehead Nebula. You will definitely notice it. It looks some kind of like an arrow. When you are watching uh, with the telescope and the eyepiece, proper eyepiece, you see this star definitely. You see this star, you see that star. You see this bigger one and that one on top. These two, one here and one there, are not visible usually. One here, one here. So uh, you will practically see one, two, three, four, five stars. Uh, with a proper eyepiece and a telescope, in this case, mid LX208 inch, when it is completely cooled down, you will start to see this. Then, with a good eyepiece like Max Vision 40 millimeter or uh, Antares uh, Spears Valor or Valor uh, 7.2, you see this little one and these two components easy. I noticed I could see these uh, also with my um, um, Teleview 40 mm plus all. Barely seeing this. This is strange because that's a wide angle eyepiece. But anyway, I could see it. That probably was an exceptional night. But Max Vision definitely could show it. Max Vision 40 mm. And of course, this is now a north. This is uh, west, this is east. And the real sky, you will see it the other way. If you're looking with, through a refractor, you see it the other way. This star will be here, these two will be on the back, reversed. So, that's the only thing. And it's for me a test of how the, uh, how the air is stable, how the, um, Telescope has cooled down and how good is the eyepiece? So how many stars you can see in your with your telescope or eyepiece and eyepiece in your location in the Sigma Orionis? Write your uh, comments in the comment section, please.